Hello everyone. Welcome to the first lecture of properties of solids and liquids. In this particular topic or the chapter, we'll study the elastic behavior and the mechanical properties of solids and liquids. So in this lecture today, the very first lecture, we'll be starting with elasticity and plasticity. So I want you to just remember the topic that is rigid bodies or the rotational motion where we saw that rigid bodies we, when they were in motion right so in that case we used to consider that the rigid bodies don't change their shape or size right while being in motion or while at rest but actually what happens is rigid bodies they can or they we can actually change their shape or size by applying enough or sufficient force external force on them right so let me give you an example over here so as you can see this structure these are nothing but as we know the bodies are composed of particles right minute particles which we call them as molecules or atoms so this structure can be considered to be the structure okay of the molecules so as you can see molecules or atoms so as you can see the distance between them is fixed so this is nothing but the structure the structure of rigid body okay in very minute level so as you can see the distances between them are as if they are connected by a spring so that makes it change its shape and size when we apply enough force on it so when, when we apply enough force or sufficient force on a rigid body okay their shape and size changes there is a deformation right there is a deformation because the distance between the the distance between the particles or the atoms or molecules the they change or they decrease or increase okay so if we apply enough force on the body the distance between the consecutive particles they change and therefore the shape or the size of the body gets changed or there would be a deformation either there would be elongation or compression okay but there would be change in shape and size now when there is change in shape and size of our rigid body okay by applying external force sufficient external force now can we say that there are two chances whether the body may get to its original shape and size or it may not isn't it now let's see what are the two properties now as i said there are two properties that is the property based on when we remove the when we remove the external force which we have applied in order to deform the body or change the shape and size of the body the body may come back to its original shape or it may not right so depending on these two phenomena we give the name the property as elasticity and plasticity so elasticity first we'll discuss elasticity okay so elasticity elasticity is the property of a body okay by virtue of which when we remove the external force applied on it the body comes back to or regains its original shape and size so that property is called as elasticity let's see some examples so as you can see there is a rubber band so when i stretch it it's size changes or it gets elongated right it gets elongated so when i remove i when i uh, when i release it when i release it instead of stretching more i release it it comes back to its original shape right or original size so the property by virtue of which the rubber band gained or regained its original shape and size is known as elasticity here are a few more examples let's see so there is a spring suppose right in its original shape or size okay original shape and size so when we compress it using external force we are, we are applying external force over here and because of that external force we are compressing it okay that is the size of the spring is getting decreased or the size of the spring is compressed you can say or the spring is compressed so when it is done as soon as we release the force okay as soon as we remove the force external force what happens to the spring the spring regains its original shape and size so that is nothing but the property okay the property of a body 
the property of a body the property of a body by virtue of which by virtue of which it regains it regains its original shape its original shape and size original shape and size and size on the removal on the removal of deforming force we are naming the force as deforming force because that force makes the change in the shape and size of the body okay on the removal of the deforming force the body regains its original shape and size so this property of the body is called elasticity what is that elasticity i hope you got that now of course when the external force is applied in such a manner okay when we, when we remove it or the removal of the force bring back the body into its original shape and size but what if we apply more force we are going to see that or those cases when we apply more force beyond the limit okay beyond the limit the elasticity the elasticity property is not no uh, is no more retained or no more valid that is the body will not regain its original shape and size so in that case what happens we'll see in the coming lectures okay now one more property as i said okay on the application of force the body may or may not so if the body gains regains its original shape and size we call it elasticity what if the body doesn't gain its original shape and size in that case what is that property called let's say now the other property of a body when the body is not regaining its original shape and size on the removal of the deforming force is called as plasticity what is that plasticity so plasticity is exactly opposite of elasticity that is the body does not okay the body does not regain its shape and size on the removal of the deforming force so the property the property of a body okay of a body due to which due to which there is there is permanent permanent deformation permanent deformation in the shape and size shape and size of the body of the body even after even after removal removal of deforming force deforming force i hope you got that right so when we apply the force on the rigid body its shape and size gets deformed or it changes so as soon as we remove the or as soon as we withdraw the force okay the external force the body if it doesn't come back to its original shape and size or the body if it doesn't regain its original shape and size we call that property of that body as plasticity i hope you got that so examples over here suppose you have a putty putties are used in uh, constructions to fill the gaps between the window uh, glass and the structure of the window okay putty then mud mud also so these are the examples of the bodies rigid bodies okay where there is permanent deformation even after the removal of the deforming force so the putty and the mud their shape doesn't change i mean they they don't regain their original shape and size after the removal of the deforming force so i hope you got that so the main objective behind this 
particular topic properties of solids and liquids is that we should be very careful and we should be knowing about the elastic behavior of bodies and the mechanical properties okay so that in our real world we have some applications in the construction suppose in the construction we need to know the elastic behavior of different bodies and we need to know about their mechanical properties so that we can use those bodies or use those substances in order to construct in order to construct a building in order to construct a bridge in order to construct a vehicle isn't it so there are a lot of applications before before we can apply or before we can make and use make and make and use of the substances we should know about their elastic behavior okay we should know about the limit of elasticity we should know about their property plasticity we should know about their mechanical properties okay so all of all these things we would be understanding or will have better understanding by after or after reading the or after knowing the properties of solids and other properties for example mechanical elastic plasticity everything right so that was all about elasticity and plasticity i hope you understood thank you